In this movie, we're going to continue our discussion of our crystal options. These are the options that set the defaults for what we want to see or do not want to see for every single report we create. We left off on database. Let's go ahead and click on the formula editor tab. Now the formula editor allows you to take database fields and modify them, group them, change them, and or calculate. It's kind of a mini app within Crystal, but these are your standard default options. It defaults to Courier New, and of course you can change this in 10 point font. You can also choose the colors of your comments, of your keywords, of your text, and your text selection. You can also choose to use the Windows system color, which is the Crystal default. There's also four languages that you can use. One is Crystal Syntax and Basic Syntax. Crystal Syntax may be a little bit easier for the beginners. Those familiar with programming, such as Basic, can go ahead and use Basic Syntax. The Null treatment is what to do with the field that is null. Null has a special value and special meaning in the world of databases. In this case, Crystal defaults to exceptions for nulls, which is good enough in most cases. If you find you have problems, you can default values for nulls if you see fit. It also gives you this nice sample of what it looks like. For example, my comment in my formula editor will always show up as green. My keywords will always show up as blue. My text and my text selection will default to black and light blue highlighting. Let's go ahead and click on reporting. Reporting gives you again more default options to apply to every single report that you create past the point that you save these of course. Crystal has a lot of kind of built-in products that you may or may not have. If you don't have them that's okay it simply does nothing for you. Some of the options you will use however will be down here. Saving the data with report, discarding saved data upon opening a new report, re-importing sub-reports, suppressing printing, and so on and so forth. You can also choose to auto-save reports if you're working on them and forget. Let's go ahead and click on fields. Now this one I'm going to have you kind of play around with. These are the different type of fields that you may deal with. String, number, currency, date, time, date and time, and boolean. We're going to use string as an example. By clicking on string it brings up the basics that every time you pull a string into the report how you want it to appear. Here are the qualities. You can make it read-only, you can suppress it, suppress if duplicated, lock in position and size, and can grow. You can also choose borders for your string field. Now this is any string field, one that comes from the database or one you create yourself in the formula editor. You can also choose to hyperlink it if you see fit. Now if we go to number, you get a few more options. You get the same options as we saw before, but numbers, of course, can be expressed in various ways, with or without commas, go out to a certain number of decimal places, or a custom style, which you can then customize if you see fit. You can even choose a type of decimal separator you are. So for example, if you're working with European clients or reporting on European standards, your decimal separator is going to be a comma as opposed to a period. You can also choose which sign to allow in front. These default options, of course, require you to play around a little bit and see how they work out for you. What these do when you set them up on your Crystal report, and every time you use your version of Crystal, it will appear in the format that you have defaulted it to. Now, keep in mind, if you pass along a report to someone else's Crystal options, their default options on their PC will rule the day. Another important option that we haven't discussed quite yet are the fonts. These help determine the default fonts you want to see in all your reports. Remember, this is PC specific. If you pass a Crystal report physically off to someone else who has their own version and their own setup and their own defaults, their defaults will rule the day as it were. From here, you can choose your fields, your summary fields, your group name fields, your text objects, your field titles, and your charts if you see fit. Again, this is going to require you to play around a little bit and see how it works out for you. If we click on fields, then Every single field that we pull into our report, aside from our summaries and the other categories listed, will be determined by these defaults here, or by the defaults we choose. You can even choose the color, or to underline it, or to strike it out. There are a few more options, but we're going to save those advanced options for a little bit later.